The heuristic systematic model, a term that may sound daunting at first, yet it offers a fascinating lens through which we can explore human decision-making. Picture this, in a world inundated with information, how do we sift through the noise and arrive at conclusions? This is where our charming model steps in, like a trusty guide through the dense forest of information. Now let's break it down, shall we? The heuristic systematic model, as posited by Chaikin in 1980, suggests that people utilize two distinct modes of processing information information, heuristic processing and systematic processing. Heuristic processing is our quick, automatic and often subconscious way of making decisions. Think of it as our mental shortcut. In contrast, systematic processing is more deliberate, analytical and resource intensive. It's like putting on your detective hat and meticulously examining the evidence before you. But why should we care about this distinction? Have you ever made a snap judgment about a person based solely on their appearance? That's heuristic processing at play. Alternatively, consider the time you spent researching a significant purchase, weighing pros and cons like a seasoned analyst. That's systematic processing. Isn't it intriguing how our brains toggle between these two modes, often without us even realising it? Now let's talk about the implications. Understanding this model is crucial, especially in fields like marketing and psychology. For instance, in advertising, marketers often rely on heuristic cues like celebrity endorsements or emotional appeals to tap into our quick decision-making pathways. According to Petty and Cacioppo, 1986, when we're unmotivated to think deeply about a product, these cues can sway our opinions significantly. But what happens when we're more engaged and motivated? We shift to systematic processing, scrutinizing details and seeking out facts. Isn't it fascinating how context can shape our decisions? Moreover, consider the role of cognitive load. When we're overwhelmed with information, we're more likely to resort to heuristic processing. This raises a crucial question. Are we, in our fast-paced lives, compromising the depth of our understanding for the sake of efficiency? Are we unwittingly allowing ourselves to be swayed by superficial cues rather than robust arguments? So in conclusion, the heuristic, systematic model offers a compelling framework for understanding how we make decisions. It challenges us to reflect on our own thought processes and the factors that influence them. So the next time you find yourself navigating a decision, ask yourself, am I relying on a mental shortcut or am I taking the time to dig deeper? The answers might just surprise you. Chaikin's seminal work, along with Petty and Cacioppo's studies, provide a solid foundation for further exploration. What's your take on the dance between heuristic and systematic processing in your daily life?